Cameras are used to capture the world around us, and in so doing, it means we have to have stable footage sometimes when we capture our video. In order to get stable footage, we use what is known as a gimbal, and a gimbal is a mechanism that is used to stabilize the shots as we take them. For example, if we have a drone, in this case, which is the DJI Zenmuse, a gimbal is attached to the bottom of this drone to allow it to move in different directions, such as upwards, downwards, or even sideward. This is the camera gimbal at the front here. So all this structure right here, we would call it a gimbal. Now, this camera is very unique in that it is called a three-axis gimbal. So what that means is whether or not the drone is moving side to side, forward or backward, this part of the drone is going to remain rock solid. So your footage will more or less have one steady frame in terms of you know not moving around too much. So the three axis gimbal is designed to kind of minimize shakiness in your footage to a very, very great degree. So let's take a look at this gimbal. Now this gimbal can move in three different planes, hence the reason a three axis gimbal. So it can move up and down like that and we call that tilting or it can move left and right like that and we call that rolling or it can pan how is the gimbal able to move pan axis roll axis and pitch axis gimbals typically have quite a bit of moving parts in the form of motors this is what turns or moves our gimbal There are also connected ribbons that will attach to the camera and the gimbal itself. This will transfer data between the camera and the other parts of the drone. So you want to make sure that these ribbons are taken care of and they are not torn because you're going to need them to transfer all that data moving back and forth between the gimbal and the rest of the drone. And finally, if you look closely, you'll notice that there are some rubbers at the bottom. This acts as a shock absorber. So just in case our drone bumps into anything and the gimbal sustains any force, those rubber pieces are there to make sure that the vibration is absorbed as much as possible. So there are three motions, pitch, roll and panning. And those are the motions that your gimbal carries out as you're flying through the air and you're trying to get your footage stable you'll notice that with these drones you will not have shaky footage so easily maybe on a windy day when the wind is way up there maybe you know 35 40 miles per hour you might see just some bit of shaking but even then this little drone still always manages to deliver the three axis gimbal it is very important that we ensure that the moving parts inside this bit here is not damaged so if you're going to store this drone putting it in the bag as is would be a bad idea this is where the gimbal cover comes in when it protects the three motions so the mechanisms that allow it to pitch roll and tilt will be protected with this gimbal right here so guys if you have a drone like this and you do not have a gimbal I am strongly recommending that you get one as soon as possible. This is one of those accessories that is a must have. And if you don't have it, you just might end up spending way more down the line. So that's the purpose of the camera gimbal cover. And of course, now we move on to turning this thing on with the gimbal cover on. And before I do that, I'm just gonna position the camera gimbal. You could call this a bonus tip guys. So when you're lining up the cover to get this on, 
you want to make sure that the camera gimbal is leveled it's not too much to the left too much to the right or too much pointing up you make sure that it's leveled and from the side here we see that that's perfect slide it over like that while not touching the gimbal and then what I want to do is press the underside here so once I press the underside you want to make sure that the gim the, the camera or the camera gimbal is pointing directly at this thing so it's it, if the lens was a little bit up or down you'd want to take it off and then reposition to make sure that it is comfortably set it will make your gimbal last a whole lot longer when these parts are not being stressed so now I'm going to open the hatch and I'm going to slide the battery in and we're just getting ready to power this thing on with the gimbal cover on close the hatch make sure it's nice and tight and we double tap and hold that power button and now guys now we get to see what happens when we leave this gimbal cover on it should try to move the way it normally does but let's see how much restricted it's going to be this time with the gimbal cover on so i'm going to power it on and i'm just waiting to see what happens here we go okay so it's moving up and down so it doesn't seem to be able to pan or to move to the left or right so we're in the app now and we're noticing that it's connected but hold on a second we're seeing something here at the very top of the menu i'm seeing gimbal stock which means that the drone is able to detect that there's an obstacle blocking the gimbal but it's just not allowing me to move it anymore so there are algorithms in place to sense when the gimbal is not being moved and so it is still not safe for you to be doing that stress your gimbal you want to take as much pressure off of this as possible and that includes pouring it on with the gimbal cover off and ensuring that there is nothing pressing on it or stressing it as you're storing it in your backpack or wherever it is that you keep this drone you should know that although i poured it on with the gimbal cover on it was still able to work normally even after i took it off so this camera gimbal is very durable however doing this is not recommended so make sure you follow the DJI guidelines in the manual. So guys, the DJI Mini SE is a very capable drone. If you want to learn more about this drone, check out my playlist on the left. There's plenty of information there. For you beginning flyers and for all those who are just curious there's something there for you too this is jam drones over and out